Hard work shapes fortune. The Indian subcontinent was partitioned in 1947. There was mass migration of people from one country to another across the border. A young man named Sham, along with his parents, left his home in a village of Punjab and came over to Delhi. The family took shelter in a refugee camp in Old Delhi. Those were the days of hardship for all refugees. Sham's father tried hard to get a job and after some efforts, got himself employed as an assistant in a grocery shop. His mother and sister stitched clothes to earn little money. Sham had passed his high school in his native village. He resolved to take up a job and be of help to his old parents in their hour of trial. In order to keep the wolf from the door, he was prepared to do any task. But he also wanted to pursue his studies and become at least a graduate. One evening, Sham went to a park. He noticed a vacant bench under a jamun tree and went and sat there. He listened silently to the tuneful song of a canary. Ah, how carefree would I be if I were a bird, thought Sham. May I sit here, young man? Sham's thoughts were jolted by the words. It was an elderly gentleman with a charming smile on his wrinkled face. Sham made some room for him and the gentleman made himself comfortable next to him. They sat in silence for some time and then the gentleman introduced himself. I am Sia Chopra, a retired postmaster. I'm glad to meet you, son. Sean too introduced himself. They chatted about the weather, politics and social issues for some time. Then Sean told him that he was looking for a job, even a small one to start with. He also expressed his desire of continuing his studies. Mr. Chopra said, I'm happy to know that, my son. I suggest that you join the postal service. Go to the GPO tomorrow and meet Mr. Tyagi there, okay? He's my friend and will surely help you. You will definitely get some job there. Sham jotted down the address and other details. They talked about various topics for some more time and as the sun set, they left for their homes. The next day, Sham reached the imposing building of the GPO. He asked for Mr. Tyagi and was guided towards his desk. He shook hands with Mr. Tyagi and gave the reference of Mr. C. L. Chopra. Are you prepared to work as a postman? asked Mr. Tyagi smilingly. Sure, sir. I shall be highly obliged if you give me this job, said Sham. Mr. Tyagi inducted him as the postman and briefed him about his duties. Sham listened to all the details attentively and made up his mind to work hard. Sham's parents were delighted to know that he had acquired a good job. Sham joined his duties and commenced his task diligently. He also got himself enrolled in an evening college. During the day, he went from house to house delivering letters and attended classes in the evening. He discharged his duties very honestly and attended college regularly too. Sham passed his BA after three years and was promoted to the position of a clerk in the GPO. His salary increased too. He joined MA English classes for further education and continued his hard work. After a lapse of another two years, he passed his MA with a good second class. Besides this, he passed two departmental examinations too and went up the ladder of promotions in the postal department. 
on the basis of his good results in MA, Sham was offered a lecturer's job in a reputed college. But he remained loyal to the postal department. On request from the management of the college, Sham sought permission from his office to work as a guest lecturer for the college. Because he had worked sincerely and honestly, he was granted the permission. With his hard work, Sham was able to provide all comforts to his family. He retired as the superintendent of post offices of North Zone after providing 33 years of service to the Post and Telegraph Department.